What's good, y'all? Master Yoshi here, bringing y'all another VRV, a viewer requested video. My man Adam wants to know what I think about my motorcycle riding community. What that means to me, basically just my scoop on it. So let's talk about it. Drop the beat. I just love a good old dose of traffic. <laughs> so before we talk about the community, first I gotta, you know, preface this and talk about myself. I am a contradiction. I bet y'all would be surprised to find out that your boy is low-key an introvert. <laughs> but I'm a contradiction because I'm an introvert with a fragile ego who appreciates some clout. <laughs> now what I mean by that is my initial reaction is to be introverted. Like, you know, walking into a room full of strangers, it don't give me anxiety, but it just takes more effort for me to be comfortable. So now I'm thinking about, all right, what I got to say to not offend nobody? What I got to do to, you know, just merge in and blend into this group of cause no tension. But at the same time, once I get comfortable with people, I'm pretty chill, I'm down to earth, and I'm pretty damn funny. <laughs> so people who know me will probably be like, you ain't no damn introvert. Yeah, that's because you know me. You know what I'm saying? Once I get comfortable, totally different person. I told y'all before, I was pretty good at football, so you know, the attention that came from that, you know, it was well received. Wasn't nothing like walking down the street and somebody stopping me, but hey man, you had a great game last week. It felt amazing. Another nice ego stroke. But anyways, with all that being said about me being introverted, I don't really make an effort that much to get out and meet new people. But at the same time, you know, it gets lonely and kind of boring riding your motorcycle by yourself all the time. So, you know, I joined a couple Facebook groups in effort to kind of help me meet people. And I also realized there's great benefits to networking. So, in an earlier video of mine, I said there is a uh, sports bike group on Facebook, and in the description, they say that they ride aggressive. Let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. Y'all see that? Dangerous situation, but your boy know what he doing. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah, so there's a, there was a Facebook group that I was talking about that I said, man, just reading their description stressed me out because they're talking about stuff like we are a group of motorcycle enthusiasts who ride at extreme lean angles and we understand it's not if you go down, it's when you go down. And I was like, oh shit, I ain't never ever, ever going to want to be associated with this group. Well, long story short, I done joined the group, went on the group ride with them and all that. <laughs> Why? Because, I mean, I can't say I don't want to do nothing and not try it. I talked about this in another video already. But anyways, this group is pretty cool, man. It's, it's, it's nice to see a diverse group of people. Yeah, some old white folk, some young black folk, some Hispanics. It was a beautiful thing. And it was crazy that they all were riding as fast as they was riding. I was, I was, I was highly impressed. Now, this group ride, um... I said, you know, you should stay away from large group rides, but the way that they rode, it was actually pretty segmented. All the meetup points were known, so like if you got a little bit separated from the group, then you'll just catch up at the next place. So the thing I appreciated most about riding with this group was that I did not feel uncomfortable. I knew I wasn't finna get left because we was out on country roads, and they said, uh, you know, just follow the road. And then we'll wait for you. <laughs> and that's exactly what they did. Never got lost. You know. It was cool. I went my own pace. I didn't have to worry about anybody being too close to me. You know what I mean? It's not like everybody was trying to stay on each other's tail. As they was riding through here. Everybody was going their own pace. It was dope. Sorry if that was windy. I should have closed the visor. Yeah, man. Everybody was going their own pace. 
it was it was nice i didn't feel pressure to go any faster than i wanted to it was, it was a pretty good ride but now there is one dude that i really like to ride with um i joined another local group here he rides very similar to me he ain't worried about you know going too fast pushing his bike to the limits or nothing matter of fact i was riding much faster than he was i led him on a ride one time and the only complaint i have for him is he would ride way too far back i'm talking about like 30 bike lengths now how in the hell is that practical if you're going to be going through the city you that far back i'm going to get a green light and you're not <laughs> so now i gotta wait for you but the riding community so far i mean it, it, it's dope it's it's diverse from my experience still have not met any ladies not that i'm trying to meet any ladies of course Motorcycling is a male-dominated pastime. The only women bikers I have met is my mother and my aunt. <laughs> Got a future woman biker I know, my wife. After we buy this damn house, you know, then we gonna start putting some money towards her bike. But I'm thinking about paying off her car first, I don't know. Another thing my man Adam asks is if I feel like there's any barriers to these groups. Uh, no, nah, not really. I, I was actually invited to the um to that main Facebook group that I rode with. Cause I never would have made the request, I don't think. But since I was invited by two different people, I was like, hey man, let me see what this about. Well so another community that I'm somewhat involved with is a large CBR owner group on Facebook. Now this place is the most <laughs> it's just funny. It's it's like if you could imagine like a high school locker room type deal that's what it is it's it's just i just sit back and be watching because the foolishness that goes on in there in the in the uh you know people be attacking other people for asking simple questions like, come on now what the, what the hell how do you expect everybody to have the same knowledge as you you can't do it won't happen. You'll be disappointed. The only bad thing I have to say about the riding community so far is that, you know, a few people have hit me up to ride. They sound like they're serious about it. But yet, we have never ridden yet. <laughs> but I keep the door open. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hold it against nobody. I understand, you know, it, the schedules are hard to look up sometimes. But that has got to be one of my biggest pet peeves is the lack of punctuality. If we schedule a date to meet up and then we don't meet up, that just irks me. Y'all gotta be punctual now, goddammit. Respect people's time. But again, I understand. I'm gonna understand it, dude. I ain't gonna hold it against you. If you tell me again, hey, yeah, let's look up. I'm not gonna say no. If I got room on my schedule, sure. Let's do it. That's about all I got. Adam, I appreciate the request, the video request. I hope this kind of touched on what you was looking for. If not, let me know. But I thank y'all for tuning in. Again, we are going to hit my favorite road in this little town. So if you're done listening, thanks again for tuning in. If not, come roll with your boy. Peace. Accelerate, get on the throttle, make the turn, see the deer ahead, the doe and the baby doe. See the next corner, get to the appropriate speed, get ready for the position, lean easy on the throttle, come on now. Come to the next corner, decelerate to the appropriate speed. Potty position on that throttle, nice and smooth. Butter. Rinse and repeat. Nice and smooth. Butter. Don't see what's going on over here. Slow it down. Can't see. Slow it down. On the throttle to maintain that bike stabilization. Can't see. Slow it down. Bye.
Porrada! It's tighter, it gets tighter, lean a little more on the throttle. <laughs> yeah. Can't see, slow down. I can see you back home. Alright, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. If anybody else has any different suggestions they want me to touch on, man, let me know. Y'all stay blessed. Don't be too stressful. Oh, damn. Y'all stay blessed. Don't be too stressed. Master Yoshi.